everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, you want to talk about a fighter who checks all the boxes, DC. Here is the UFC featherweight king, your right-hand man, Max Blesshoff. The Blessed Express is always on my mind. He's one of the best fighters and one of the best guys that we know. The pace and the ability to push and press forward is something that the UFC's featherweight division has never really seen. To melt Jose Aldo in the way that he did, to melt Brian Ortega in the way that he did, is truly a compliment to Max Holloway and his preparation, true Hawaiian to his soul, and it shows in the toughness that he exhibited when he stepped into the out. You talk about a guy ably taking the torch from the Hall of Famer VJ oh. Penn, Max Blessed Holloway. Few guys are gonna be able to match the cardio. You mentioned the pace and the pressure. All lies on Max Holloway yet again here tonight. So here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Plus Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 
Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Got to be careful, Armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. And there it is. He got him. What a fight. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee heard Gaines call the stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Alright, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me all Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. I mean, you know this guy has such a